My name is Alicia Dembiec from Property Journal magazine. We are on GRI New Europe 2012 in Warsaw. And next to me is Mr. Um, Henri Alster, is a chairman and founder of GRI Global Real Estate Institute. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Mr. Henri, uh, Henri please tell me uh, what is unique in GRI? The GRI is different from any other conference or gathering that anyone might might go to mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have no speakers we have no panels every conference has speakers and panels and presentations we have none of that mm -hmm. all we have is discussions that go on in separate rooms where everybody participates not only the people that are listed on the program as discussion co-chairs with their photographs but everybody in the room participates there are no podiums, there are no microphones, the co-chairs sit scattered about the room. It's just a circle of seats and it's a little bit like an after-dinner conversation in your own living room with a bunch of friends. It's very casual, it's very informal and because everybody participates, people get to know each other. The conversation is not prepared beforehand. We don't we don't encourage preparation. Mm -hmm. It's probably the only conference in the world where we tell people we don't want you to prepare. Yes, so a very special or, event. It, it's very different in that sense. Or really, what we, what we really want is we want them to prepare, but it's a different kind of preparation. The preparation is the 20 or 25 years in business that they have been. It's the experience that we want them to have. But no, no, no prepared comments, no speeches. We want them to be spontaneous. And people that have been in business a long time, they have things to say. They don't need to prepare speeches. Especially if the people that come are senior decision makers. And the only people that we cater to are senior decision makers. We, we're not interested in having everybody attend the GRI. It's a very expensive event. It's expensive on purpose. It is not designed for everybody. It's only for the people that uh, run the companies. And what can you tell us about this edition of GRI in Warsaw? Well, it, it comes at a very interesting time because um, it, is, um, it brings together uh, the developers, the investors and the lenders that are active in this part of the world. And because of the format, it enables them to connect with each other. They don't come here to learn. These are people that are very senior. They, they learn, they learn what other people are thinking, where the market is going, but they know the business. They don't come here to learn from the leaders. They are the leaders. But what is good is they connect with each other. And if they have to do business together, and most people in the property industry need to do business with others, this is a very good format that enables them to get to know each other. And if there is somebody in the room that makes comments that they didn't expect or says something interesting, it's very easy thereafter to walk up to them and say, that, that was interesting what you said, let's have coffee together, let's talk yes. about this. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's very easy for people to get to know each other, become friends with each other in such a format. Because it's not a conference, because yes? It's, because it's not a conference. Yes. Because, because it's, a, it's an after-dinner conversation in your own living room with a yes. bunch of friends. And uh, please tell me how New Europe uh, tried to address the challenges and activities in Central Eastern Europe and South Eastern Europe. Well, uh, we, um, the, way, the way we try to address them is by making sure that the people that can make a difference, mm -hmm. um, which often today is the capital, the lenders, the investors, um, uh, in a market where there is a capital shortage, especially a financing shortage, making sure that all the lenders that are active in the market are here and making sure that uh, they have the opportunity to exchange ideas and uh, develop connections with the people that need the capital, on the other hand, which are the developers um, that have projects uh, ongoing. And, and the interesting thing that I come away with is that <coughs> There's a certain optimism in the air. We're certainly going through difficult times, but there's a feeling that things are getting better, that things are not black or white, they're more gray. It's not like there is no financing, uh, there is no development. There is some, and there is a, an increasing amount. Of course, 
it's less than it used to be in the heyday, but things are going on, definitely. And what do you think, how important is a Polish real estate market in Europe? Poland today is one of three markets, three countries in Europe that, that are the leading countries in Europe. We have Germany, Poland and Turkey. Um, most of the other countries are suffering, hurting. Um, Poland has managed its economy brilliantly. Um, it is easily the capital of Central and Eastern Europe. The reason why we come back to Poland uh, every year, uh, even though originally we used to go to the New Europe GRI, used to go to Prague and Budapest and Bucharest and Istanbul. Now, for the last three years we've been in Poland, is because Poland increasingly is becoming the capital of the region. It's not becoming, is mm -hmm. the capital of the region. It's the most dynamic economy. It's the best run economy. Um, so Poland, I, I, I am sure, will continue to uh, grow and uh, become a key dominant country in this entire region. It's really optimistic. I think so. Yes. Thank you very much for interview. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm.